Ben Carson went to Detroit to campaign with Donald Trump, and he gave us this hilarious moment live on CNN. I wanted to see a little bit about, you know, what it was like, uh, what the neighborhood was like. And we also went through some of the b more blighted areas of Detroit, which uh, when I was growing up was a very prosperous city. It was once the most prosperous city in America and uh, has unfortunately undergone some pretty awful things. And I think maybe there are things that we can learn as a society, because in order for our country to be great again, uh, Every aspect has to be great, including our inner cities. And, and we just saw Mr. Trump here. I asked him, how did it go? And he said, great. And he said he learned a lot of things. What do you think he took oh, away from, from my, today? My luggage. <laughs> um, hold on. OK. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Carson is going to try and find his luggage, and he'll be right back with us. Um, but this is, this is where we are right here. We're right in front of the home of Dr. Ben Carson. And this is where he grew up, actually. And he just brought uh, Mr. Trump here. Trump came here for just a few minutes. Uh, he walked over here, spoke with this woman uh, down, down here in the driveway, uh -huh. who is actually the owner now of Mr. Carson's home. Uh -huh. And he's actually back with us again. <laughs> so we're going to continue. Oh, good. That means luggage, luggage found. Is it all OK? Uh, taken You're taking care of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell us, um, what do you think Mr. Trump learned from coming here uh, and also speaking at the church service? Did he speak with people? What, was, what yeah. were the private interactions uh, like? He had an opportunity to speak with, with several people. That was great. <laughs> that reminds me of in Iowa, uh, Ben Carson decided, I'm not going to go to the next state, which I think is New Hampshire. He's like, I got I to gotta go home. They're like, why do you have to go home? What do you mean? He's like, I forgot a change of clothes. <laughs> what a goofball. Dude, you're live on CNN. He's like, oh, my luggage. And then he prances off. <laughs> By the way, he never stops doing his hand thing. I'm Ben Carson. Oh, what a weirdo. <laughs> All right, and um, the other thing that uh, I want to give credit for here is actually the uh, reporter. The reporter, I'm going 10 out of 10, man. A lot of, you know, naive reporters and, and new reporters, which this guy might be because I haven't seen him before, they'll, they'd like, they'd immediately crumble when their segment falls apart like that. Like the guy's running, like, I'll be right back and runs away. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Freeze. But this guy, he rolled with it, man. He rolled with the punches. He turns around, he's like, anyway, so this is uh, Dr. Ben Carson's home. He grew up in this home. Donald Trump came, and he looked around a little bit. Uh, ben Carson uh, and Trump spoke to the woman who now owns the place, and, you know, it's an interesting uh, little stop that they're doing here, and, oh, look, now Ben Carson is back. There are a lot of people who are just... Especially because, I mean, think about it. When you look at a lot of CN reporters, but honestly the worst offenders are local reporters... They they do the opposite of keeping it real. They have the fake newsman cadence. And let me tell you today what's happening in the weather. You know, it is a little cloudy today. Am I right, Chet? <laughs> like, that's a thing. Like, the, the, the persona of the news anchor. And if you give one of those guys this situation with, with Ben Carson running away. Oh, my luggage. Prancing away. Um, they, they just melt. <laughs> My newsman facade is melting. <laughs> but uh, this guy held it together pretty well. So good job, man. Good job. And uh, Ben Carson, dude, why are you so disconnected from reality? You're live on CNN. Your luggage can wait like eight seconds.